So, what are human beings, and how did we get here, and why are we here, and what are we going to do about it now that we are here? These are questions that many people have asked, and you know the question: Why are we here? Why are human beings here? Why do we have a life? And I, I think that the more important question is: What are we going to do about it now that we do? It's not so much why we're in the situation, but how we're going to really respond to it, because it sort of rings true to what we experience throughout life. It's, it's less important to, to really discuss. Uh, how something really happened to you, especially if you don't have a lot of control over it. For, for example, you're, if you're diagnosed with cancer or you have some other challenge, the real question becomes how do you actually deal with it? Now, of course, if you created a circumstance that put you into a situation, then of course you would ask yourself how did you end up there, but a lot of times it's all, it's all about how do you respond to adversity. And uh, people want to ask why are we here? What's the meaning of life? I don't know the meaning of life. Uh, I, I, I think the real key is, you know, now that you are alive, what are you going to do about it? The meaning of life is whatever you make it to be. You know, you, it's up for you to really define what it is to be alive. You will define who you are by your actions, and that's how I pretty much see it. How do humans get here? Well, I, I think that humans... Uh, evolved from other species. I think that in the be beginning of the universe, which is the same as the end of the universe, I'll explain, because to me, time is like a circle. It's sort of like a circle. Uh, any given point in time, you're on a circle, and it, it, there's not really a true beginning, not a true ending. Uh, they talk about a Big Bang Theory where there's a big explosion at the beginning of the universe. Well, that could have been the end of another universe. I, I Here's my theory. I think the Big Bang was the beginning of the universe, but also the ending of another universe. It's sort of like a different, a different cycle. You know, there was a big bang, and that led to the creation of the stars and the planets, and the conditions on on Earth uh, made it possible for bacteria and other species or other organisms to really grow, and they evolved into multi-celled species, and it went on from there and there. I pretty much believe that evolution is the reason why human beings are pretty much here, but uh, I think that our universe is just one of an infinite amount of universes. I don't believe that our universe is the only universe. I believe, I believe that this world, this universe could go through uh, a, a cycle where it comes to an end where, let's say, all the energy compacts, all the energy draws in, all the planets and the stars draw in, and then they explode again, creating another uh, cycle. Now, so like the beginning, so the universe sort of explodes and expands, contracts, explodes and expands, explodes and expands and contracts. That's pretty much my working theory right now. But it's one of the many universes. Like I say, I think the time is sort of like a circle. It's like a cycle. But there's an infinite amount of, you could, if you, there could be an infinite amount of circles just circling around one another to make a grand sphere. Uh, it, it doesn't, it can go on and on. There's, there can be an infinite amount of universes. Uh, for example, if you travel back through time, you wouldn't be able to travel back through your own time. This is my idea. You would actually have to travel to another, a parallel universe. And just by being in this universe, even if it looks just like your universe, the fact that you're there means you're changing that universe. You're creating a whole new uh, world line. So, sort of like what... Um, uh, John Teeter was talking about. Not that I actually believe that he was a time traveler. John Teeter was this guy who appeared online and forums claiming to be from the future, and he would answer questions and stuff, and people were really fascinated with him. He was talking about his own world line, what happened in, in his universe. and It's quite it's a quite interesting story. Uh, I, I think about a lot of things like that sometimes, and I definitely don't look for supernatural answers, because to me, there's, there's too many people trying to create their own answers because they can't find a scientific solution. It's okay not to have a scientific solution. Uh, science takes a while. It's a process. It's something that must be verified. It's, it's okay not to have all the answers, but uh, as you move along, science does provide some answers, and I like the fact that uh, they don't try to fill in the blanks with their own cultural bias or whatever uh, to, to make people feel good. That's one of the things I like about science. Uh, it's, it's something that you can verify. It's something you can be proactive in, and you can look at it yourself. Is there another species like us? Well, uh, I think it, it's, it's incredibly arrogant to believe that in this vast universe, we are the only intelligent species uh, out there. It's completely ridiculous. We know that there are 
many stars that are very similar to ours. We know that there are many planets that share a similar distance from their stars. We know that there are planets that have some conditions that may be able to, to sustain similar types of life. So I would look for uh, uh, intelligent creatures that have some of the characteristics that we have. Maybe not a, a humanoid, maybe uh, I, I would definitely expect them to have uh, arms and I would expect them to have legs. Or, or maybe some species have evolved to the point where they don't even need bodies. Uh, that, that would be quite fascinating. Uh, maybe we'll come across a, 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 a robotic uh, species, a species that you know they now rely on machines. They're now actually are machines. Their consciousness are actually in machines, like uh, Cylons and all that stuff. Uh, that would be quite fascinating. But I think it's a very, very high possibility that there's other species out there like us. The question is, can they develop enough technology to create wormholes or uh, find a means of getting to our planet to communicate with us? A lot of people think that aliens have been on our planet for uh, decades. Uh, I, I tend to suspect that they're really, all these UFO sightings may be government operations, government projects. Maybe the government was actually experimenting on U.S. citizens and they're using this alien angle to sort of cover that up. It, uh, I, I think that would make a lot more sense. Or maybe I'm completely wrong about this. So, so tell me what you think about uh, the human race. Uh, why are we here? Uh, do you think there's other species like us? Uh, I, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, so I want to know uh, what are your theories about the human race? Do you think uh, there was another species that uh, implanted um, human beings or humanoids on this planet? and uh, engineered them to evolve to where we're at right now? Uh, do you think uh, there was some, some type of uh, an event, a jump in, in evolution? Uh, what, what is your theory about the creation of man and why we're here and what we should do now that we are here? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. So get started. <laughs> you know, some people say, you should stick to the economy. And I say... You know, if, if all I did was talk about the economy, it would be a pretty boring channel. I mean, what else do you want me to see about the economy, for crying out loud? I've showed you the charts. I've showed you the graphs. I gave you all the links. I mean, showed you the unemployment numbers. I showed you the, the labor market numbers. I mean, what else do you want from me? Time to talk about something else, too, you know? I mean, come on. If you don't get it by now, I can't help you. I mean,